Welcome to a Devisoft training video. We will show how to extract the RPM of a sound signal and its further use in order tracking. Imagine we have a sound signal from an engine run up. With a little work we can get out the RPM and then use it in order tracking to extract the single orders. Probably you know that we can replay a file through the loudspeaker. Let's listen to the signal first. Well, this is a really bad example of a Formula 1 car, quickly changing with lots of gear shifting. Usually you would have to analyze a slow run up or coast down. But let's give it a try. Go into mathematics section and add the exact frequency function. This should help us to roughly get out the frequency range first. Recalculate and view the result in a recorder. Up to 300 Hz means 18,000 RPM. Also you can see the gear shifting here. There is an odd jump at the beginning. Let's have a look at this. The exact frequency formula fails here, because the second order is the highest. From the Spectral Analysis menu we add an FFT. Adjust the line resolution. And then recalculate. On top you can see an auto-created display. But this time we will use the 3D FFT instrument to show the signal. Adapt the scaling. And when you now move the cursor through the data file, you see a yellow bar following, showing the FFT window currently used. To show the whole data file at once, we have to increase the history count. Also increase the memory size for the FFT instrument. Play with the settings until the whole data file is covered. As we are only interested in the first order, the fundamental, we adapt the y-axis scaling. This graph is also called Time FFT Waterfall, because it shows a lot of FFTs printed versus the recording time. Now start to manually set the marker points along the first order. Speed is a result of training. After that, show the cursor table and copy all data to clipboard. We paste this into Excel. In the mathematics, we add the reference curve. It will output user-defined values based on time. Right-click and copy the table first to see the structure. When we paste in Excel, we see the two headers time and value. To insert these tables into the reference curve, it must have the same structure and header. Delete the columns not needed and adapt the structure. At last, copy the header to be identically. Then, Copy the table and paste into the reference curve. If you see some warning here showing reference values have to grow always, please check if there are identical time values shown twice, then correct them. Recalculate and let's overlay the picked values with the exact frequency result.
hold the control key and click on the Y axis label for same scaling. It looks pretty ok. The odd jump at the beginning is corrected now. Now you can use this new channel and do a deeper analysis with order tracking. Select the sound channel and the RPM. At first it is not shown here, because it still has the wrong unit. Go to the reference curve and change it to Hertz. Then do some more scattings, like run up, we want the RPM range and only to be updated once and some other resolution settings. When we recalculate we see we also have an auto created screen called order tracking now and with the correct scaling we should be able to see something the correct channel, we already see the first, the second and the third order. Thanks for watching.